Today I'm using a new camera to shoot the video and I do have some audio and video issues which will be rectified by the next video so please bear with me for this one. Hey I'm Gaff from Gaff Takes Photos and it has been a while since I uploaded a video. Um, been a little bit busy outside of uh, the whole photography sphere, it's been not not been great you know for me to be able to get out recently so work family life and studying a new college course so you know been busy genuinely quite busy oh it's chilly today so in today's video I decided to take a visit to an old location which I've shot at sunset uh, now we're here at sunrise and I am in my typical form a little bit late so I'm going to try and get down to where I need to be shooting before the sun comes up and absolutely obliterates the mist and it is kicking off over there. So see you there. Listen, that sky are amazing. Definitely glad I came out today. So, for those of you who don't know, we're here at a place called Brockett Hall. I like this place. Um, this isn't really the right lens for this shot. I'm going to try to take a shot with it anyway, because be different and all that stuff. Uh, this place is quite nice because you got a little waterfall behind this bridge and in sunset the sunsets behind it so you can actually get the sunset with the waterfall and I've got that before it's quite nice at uh, this time you've got a lovely big tree over there with the bridge and the nice smooth calm water which does require an ultra wide lens so this little uh, Sigma 30 mil ain't gonna cut it so I have to change over now so there we go got my 714 f2.8 Pro on let's set that up to how I need that to be so for this shot I'm gonna be at 7 mil uh, f5.6 ISO 200 and a 60th of a second I might boost it up a bit though just to get more detail in the bridge itself all right I'm gonna duck down low for the next shot and try and get the reflections in and some of the nice sky in and also through the arches to where it's all nice and misty over there. Right, I shot that shot in both the standard 20 megapixel mode and the handheld high res mode, uh, which is a 50 megapixel file. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any real uh, detail difference there. Looking at the back of the screen, there's a big detail difference. So once I get that home on the uh, big screen, it'll be interesting to see. Ah, yeah, what a beautiful day today. Beautiful day. Ah, sun, sunrises are just the best. It just sucks getting up for them. Right, on to the next spot. Right, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you can hear me. We're on the other side of the bridge now, uh, next to the waterfall. And again, I'm going to be using the ultra wide 714 mil, and we're going to try and get uh, some lovely smooth water here. And I'm going to try and do it handheld. So, see how that goes, won't we? But what a beautiful day! Sunrise behind me, kicking in, lovely. Let's concentrate on this now. Now, for both the vertical shot and the landscape shot, uh, I was using 1.6 of a second at F7 with ISO 200 on this, using the built-in 5-stop 
uh, live ND feature that these cameras have. And that combined with the stabilization inside the camera body, because this lens isn't stabilized, allowed me to get a sharp handheld 1.6 second exposure here, which is perfect. The only new tripod I bring now is this one for the filming. I don't bring other tripods anymore. It's been absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Oh. Let's go find something else. The light is still kicking off behind me. And I've never actually been in that direction before, so let's have a walk and have a look. As you might be able to see behind me right now, the sun is just coming above the trees over that way and is lighting up the tops of the trees over there. So once again, I'm going to have to switch out the old lens and uh, see if I can get the shot. Not sure whether I want to go back to the Sigma lens or stick the 12 to 100 on, to be honest. The 12 to 100 would be more versatile and I would be able to get the shot exactly framed how I want it, but that 30mm is one of the sharpest lenses, period, for Micro Four Third system, so I want the extra sharpness or do I want the extra versatility? Hmm. Decisions. Right, I uh, I went with the, the Sigma. Um, that sharpness just can't be denied. It is immensely sharp. <laughs> Even wide open, it's pretty sharp. It's stopped down to f4, and this thing's an absolute monster. Um, I've also noticed I'm slowly being enveloped in mist. Uh, there was a little bit of mist here earlier when I first got here, but it's uh, it's now the sun's picking up, so is the mist, which is quite nice, really, isn't it? It's quite nice. Hmm. See, I don't really know if I want to go further in, or if I want to stay here and wait for the sun to actually pick up some more, because my typical style of shooting is to just wander around. I don't really ever stay in one place for longer than a couple of minutes. Um, that's why this system suits me, because I don't have to just tripod, wait, shoot. I can just, no tripod, cool long exposure, see it, done. Um, and then on to the next place, but do I fight the urge to walk away and stay here or do I go? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I might be missing something awesome over there. Small problem, I know, but it's just what goes on up here. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a couple minutes, maybe. Like I can see that the, the bridge is actually slowly disappearing behind me in some mist, so if it completely disappears, I'll go somewhere else, I suppose. What a beautiful morning, though. Right, 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 right. So the light is absolutely kicking off behind me. Am I glad I stayed the same place? Yes, but not for that shot. Those trees over there, just out of frame, they are lighting up a treat, and it's going to look fantastic, hopefully. When I get that shot, so whoa, they're glowing. F4, 250 of a second, ISO 200. Let's kick it. Oh, look at that glow, mate! <laughs> oh, and there's the sun as well. Look at that. Look at that. Everything comes together in the end. And I stuck with the Sigma, so hopefully everything is going to be super sharp. Uh, this is actually my first time out with this lens as well, so let's hopefully see that the photos come out nice. Otherwise, uh, I'll be upset. But oh, 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 so good. Look. You can't see these shots yet. Well, you will have seen these shots now, but I, I can't see them in full quality, but I am absolutely in awe of all of this. What a morning. What a morning. So happy I made the decision to come out early today. What a day. I'm, I'm also shooting with a different... Um, camera here. Uh, instead of using my old iPhone 12 Pro, I'm using my Pixel 7 Pro and I've noticed that actually reviewing back some of the footage, the ultra wide lens on this is 
Um, shocking. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get a case that actually works with my reflex lenses so I can mount them on the phone while the case is on because the current one I have now, I can't do that without getting all sorts of weird vignettes. So I'm gonna have to get a better case. Minor problems though, minor problems. Um, the light just keeps getting better behind me. It's absolutely insane. Loving it at the moment. Man alive. In a slight turn of events, I've actually switched over to the 12 to 100 Pro because there are some pheasants over there and I never take the picture of a pheasant before. And I doubt I'd get close enough with the 30mm Sigma, so let's go. Hopefully, I can sneak, on, sneak up on them. I mean, I'm fairly invisible, right? On the green and brown landscape and maybe blue. I think, I think, I got at least one photo that might be slightly nice of the pheasants. They, they don't like me. Uh, it's understandable. See this walking towards you. I think this might be a gun or something stupid like that. So, they're birds. They don't know any better. So they did, they did run. Um, but yeah, oh, what a morning. What a morning. I think, I'm going to go and get some coffee now because it is, it's, it's so cold the legs on my tripod have actually got a layer of frost on them which is uh, less than ideal which means that my camera bag which I've handily left open was also going to be similarly cold. I'm going to need to defrost it in the van so good times, good times, good times. If you enjoyed today's adventure, today's videos, you like whatever else is on the channel, do please consider giving it a like, subscribe, let me know in the comment section below if you're going to come out to Brocket Hall because this place is amazing at sunrise, honestly. And I recommend it to everyone, so, oh, yeah, coffee time. I mean, Gaff and Gaff takes photos and I will see you in the next video. Even this is cold. See ya.